hey y'all so welcome back to my channel i wanted to come and give y'all a downtown flint michigan tour i was born and raised in flint flint michigan has a bad rep we're just gonna be honest crime violence and this whole flint water situation and i just feel like there's such a negative light on flint michigan but there are so many positive things going on in flint believe it or not downtown is one of them it's a lot of new small businesses popping up it's a lot of um art events the buckham alley fest they have the art fest they have the farmer's market it's just a lot of good things happening I just wanted to show y'all where i was born and raised and where i've been living all my life and it's like this is the perfect time to do it before i leave to kansas so stick with me i'm about to show y'all my city and we're gonna hang out on flint michigan i forgot to mention some other things too like back to the bricks and it's like where they have all the vehicles they come down and the whole brick road is just lined with uh, cars so it's a lot you know it'd be some stuff going on but i'm starting not at the very beginning of downtown but i'm right here on the corner of fourth and saginaw and that's halo burger back there y'all know well if you don't know halo burger has been there for years i'm not sure when so yeah um downtown stretches as far as it's small like i said obviously flint is a small city but downtown is like right there it's just like, down there is just like the um county jail courthouse and you know just buildings like that is down that way so i didn't want to show y'all all that stuff this is the first presbyterian <laughs> first presbyterian church right here and they had this loud huge bell that you could probably hear That is the Masonic Temple across the street. And I actually remember going there, it was like in the sixth grade. We had like a dinner there or something like that. And there's some nice spaces. Like I've um, been in, been a part of like fashion shows and stuff where people rent out space up there. It's really nice in there um, to like host events because they have different rooms and stuff like that.
like so many people here they walk like around a little circle and it's just really nice and cute or whatever and yeah sometimes here they have um music events like they block this little area off and it's a stage and a whole bunch of people summertime is when it's really you know a lot to do down here and here is the u of m ice skating ring and a little fun fact about this ice skate ring. I got fun facts about all these places down here because this is where I grew up. But um, yeah, when I was like 17, 18, I was just like a huge activist, like just real involved in my community and everything. So um, I had actually teamed with, it was a the Black Student Union at U of M. I teamed with them and we came up with this march. It was like around the time where Trayvon Murray was killed. You know, everybody was just had their opinions and frustrations and feelings about it and we just wanted to make a difference in our city so we joined together and we did a march and everybody met here i would never forget this because y'all this time of my life like i was just so i've been through a lot of different phases in my life and in this phase i was just so like i was just so active i was changing my hair my hair was always crazy i think i had like purple hair i, I had purple pink blonde blue all that type of stuff so we all met here it was a bunch of people really like a bunch of young we got a lot of young people out here and uh, we were just all talking and kind of hyping each other up and educating each other it was beautiful we marched all through all through the north side i think we turned on martin luther king marched up hamilton it was just we went all and then we made a huge circle and then we came back to the rink and everybody was just like educating each other and it was just really enlightening and it was just I, i'll never forget that but that was a really cool time of my life i don't know i was just so carefree i was more carefree and that's just a part of myself that i never want to lose just being carefree and being just doing it just like always being a doer i would never sit there and think about something for too long and i mean sometimes i did get me into trouble but I just love that part of myself and it's just like when you grow up don't forget that little stuff that you grew up with that made you who you are because me being a go-getter me being you know an activist and just doing it it made me who i am and it makes it and it, i still i mean a lot of that has simmered down but i still carry that with me just as far as like go do it like you thinking of this idea go get it of course i'm a little bit older i'm a little bit wiser now so i take my time and I have to think about things more but that part of myself that zeal that that just bam that's something that I just don't want to lose and yeah so that just brought back a lot of memories just passing past this ice skating rink and this spot is so funny because this is where me and my friend uh, my childhood friend best friend we used to just y'all stay on our bikes and we would be everywhere all throughout Flint so we used to ride our bikes down here we used to kind of just like play around that's the Flint River is the Flint River it's pretty gross looking but <laughs> that's what it is but yeah I remember I had this um company with my friend we was like again I was like 18 or 17 but we had uh, lavish living incorporated I never forget it shout out to my boo Marcus now <laughs> shout out to Marcus though but um, we had we would style people and um I would do their hair makeup and then he would style them he was a stylist so we were just like so on fire about our company we was always doing photo shoots just getting our name out there it was a part of a lot of events like photo shoots fashion shows and stuff like that and we will always be doing like um photo shoots like with people we styled and everything like that so we had a photo shoot right here actually with marquita she was one of our models i'm gonna link her youtube below because she does have a youtube she do vlogs and beauty stuff so yeah go check her out marquita do you remember girl if you watch this video comment below do you remember her lavish living <laughs> Nice little events. They got like the stage there. They have some nice musical events. 
这样，吼。Saturday nights on college nights. <laughs> Me and my friends, well, um, we are just coming for college nights. It was on Thursday, actually. They had like a little club in there, and um, we used to come down here on Thursdays for college nights. <laughs> I still remember that we used to come like every week. <laughs> when I first turned 18, I was like, I'm gonna go clubbing. I got my ID with me, you know. I'm 18, let me in. So y'all, we was at Churchill's every Thursday for that college night. My downtown tour it's a lot of other stuff um, like down these back streets that I just didn't get to because y'all I'm eight months pregnant and I'm ready to get off my feet so <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna end the tour here but like I said Flint Michigan has a lot of positive things a lot of small businesses branching up a lot going on here um, oh I'm headed back to my car like wobbling like oh my god yeah, my feet hurt so bad. This was enough for walking for me. This was my exercise for the whole week. So, I'm about to go. I hope y'all enjoyed my city. I hope um, I was able to shed a little light on Flint, Michigan. I just really enjoyed it. Um, going down memory lane myself. Like, that was just so, <laughs> so cool to do. Because now that I'm leaving state, it's just like... <sighs> I'm so tired, y'all. But, um, let me hear me go. <laughs> I definitely never forget where I came from and you know how Flint made me who I am so yeah thank you Flint Michigan for all the years it's time for me to dip out it's time for me to bounce yeah thank y'all for watching hope y'all enjoy the Flint tour 